we have kind of a fun workflow set up today instead of something that is, you know, crazy AI type campaign. And so what we can do with this clay table that we're going to go over is we will receive any kind of interested response. We will then enrich that in interested response. We will enrich it for a LinkedIn profile, which then we're going to get a mobile number from, and then we're going to add that currently to a Google sheet. But really what we want to do is send it to a Slack channel. And so quite simply, the way that this works is you could just go to smart lead and set up your webhook. And so I'm not going to go over there right now, but you just literally go to the webhook tab, add a new webhook, and then you'll get a source from clay and you just put the link that clay gives you into the webhook link that smart lead uh, gives you as an input, and then you'll be ready to go. And then we can map things like their name, their email address, their lead category, what they said in the email body. You can even use a formula to um, take out all HTML text. And so literally I just asked it, you know, remove the HTML from email body. So then we have a clean email body over here. Now we're getting all of our data from Apollo in this instance. If you, so then we use that to get the LinkedIn URL and then we're using that to start a waterfall to find mobile phone numbers after that. Couple of problems. If you are not using Apollo, this part won't work. Um, and if, you so we have a couple of different options that you could do right so one option that you can do is usually we have a clay table that is sending data from the initial starting clay table to smart lead and then something will happen and then we get a response and then we can come back so the other way we could get this data is we could also use lookup uh we can look up a record in another table and then this one is Baton Market Bulk Campaign 2. And then we could search the um, master email column to equal, and then we want it to equal the email in here. So we can do this as well, which will get us the LinkedIn URL, because we're not always the best of putting the LinkedIn URL uh, into the Smart Lead campaign when we send it, although we really should. Um, so if you don't have a LinkedIn URL, you might have had a table that had a LinkedIn URL, and then you can just look it up over there. This is just to show you, maybe I set this up too quickly and it's not going to work. The other thing that you could do is you could just try to enrich for a LinkedIn URL from what you have here. And so if you were to do a Google search, find an enriched person from a Google search. If you just type in, if you just literally just input a person's name and then their email address or their website, this will then go out and find their LinkedIn URL, most likely. You could possibly use Clagent to find it as well. Um, lots of different ways that you could do it. But Apollo does accept a email as an input right here. And then that really helps us you know, enrich for their LinkedIn URLs and things like that. Or you could just not be lazy and be organized. And as soon as you're sending data to Smart Lead, just send the LinkedIn URL to Smart Lead with uh, the initial input. And then it'll show up here in the lead data, which it would show up right here, but we don't have that um, for now. So yeah, then we're sending it to a Google Sheet for now. But if you want to send it to a Slack channel, you would just set it up in clay so send message to channel and then you can name the bot all this stuff you can name the channel and then for your form information this is where you're going to fill out everything so you would just come in here and you would say like um name and then you're just going to map name right but i'm going to take the second one because the second one's better and then i'm going to come here and i'm going to say email and then we map email right and so in order for us to give our clients the most amount of information that we could possibly give, we're going to give like name, email, here, we can even look, name, email, LinkedIn profile, the email body that got sent. So we want to send that one, the category as well. We want to send um, the LinkedIn URL and then the mobile number to, you know, all this stuff. So yeah, hope this was useful. Careful with the APIs from Apollo because they have a really low rate limit. We're only sending webhooks if a lead is marked interested or please review. And that's not going to get over, unfortunately, 200 um, people per hour. So that's just is what it is. 
But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. And now you can send Slack messages and get way more context for your Slack messages um, when you get a new lead from your campaigns.